Let's solve the natural log equation. Notice, on the left-hand side of this equation, we have two different natural logarithms. There's a minus sign in between them. On the right-hand side, we just have one natural log. So we want to make sure that on the left-hand side, we combine these two into one by using the quotient property. We can rewrite the left-hand side as the natural log of x minus 4 over x plus 1. Remember, when you have a natural log minus another natural log, you can write it as one natural log and just divide the arguments. Is equal to the natural log of 6. Now we have another logarithm property that states if we have one logarithm equal to another logarithm, we can just simply put the arguments equal to each other. So x minus 4 over x plus 1 is equal to 6. Now in order to solve this, we can just multiply both sides by x plus 1, which is the same as cross multiplying. We have x minus 4 is equal to 6x plus 6. Let's move the x's to the left hand side. We have negative 5x minus 4 is equal to 6. And we'll add 4 to both sides we get negative 5x equals 10, or x is equal to negative 2 when we divide both sides by negative 5. Now this is one of those cases where it's absolutely necessary that we check this answer back into our original equation because our equation had to do with logarithms. Remember, the argument for a logarithm can never be 0 or a negative number. So notice, if we substitute negative 2 back into x minus 4, if we put negative 2 in for x, we'll come up with negative 6. That's not in the domain. So x equals negative 2 is not a solution or the empty set.